kind of like this, but like all the e-boards and like a couple of their job numbers come up and learn how to co-sponsor and like work with each other because there could be a lot more events if we all combine budgets and work with each other. Because I know like Latin American Society, you guys worked with MCSS and with MCLA events, and like we've worked with uh, we had we worked with Alberto's and got to go to see like the Broadway show last year. So I think it would be really cool if people did that. Would, do you think eboards would go out to that and other general members would go out to work and social network with each other? Definitely like, increase the engagement within clubs with, on the school campus. My name is Nora Weiss. I am a senior, class of 2012. My major is Arts Management with a minor in English concentrating in Journalism and Public Relations. I am from Dorchester, which is a part of Boston. And when you had like boxes, like you can get like a 10 free coffee, 10 coffees, you get one free. If you fill up the whole card, we would uh, give you like a big prize, or you put it in a raffle for even bigger prizes. Like, you know, you can get a t-shirt, or we'll give you like a movie basket at the end of the year, things yeah. like that. That's what people come back for more. <laughs> <laughs> appreciated work. I appreciate being busy, having a schedule, and doing things. Um, especially uh, this past summer. Uh, last year I ended up working uh, with uh, Bernadette Lupo, who is the head of marketing and communications for the college, like placing ads for the college, um, uh, telling people about certain uh, campus events, uh, speakers, and communicating with the outside world about MCLA. And I got to work with her, and I've been placing ads just like she has, calling people, um, advertising with, you know, theater festivals, even Williams, talking to them and bettering MCLA and letting the world know who MCLA is. And through her, I uh, got a job at a marketing firm in the summer. Uh, a friend of hers has a, a firm in Boston, where I'm from, and I ended up moving into Austin in my own apartment. Uh, I worked, you know, 40, 50 hours a week. I paid rent, uh, awful thing. And uh, doing so, I, you know, I really learned about adult working like you know I used to work in retail or at summer camp but now I was working in a cubicle learning to work with people that I've never met before um, and establishing a common goal and reaching that goal uh, through working through calling people having certain reports due at a certain time you know only having a half hour for lunch it was very sad for me because I like to eat I work in there I do it's the president's office I work with their PR person she's fantastic president regret every day we had the same taste for Keurig choices. <laughs> Black magic every morning. Or dark magic, I think. Sure. We like our coffee strong. Being a student leader on MCLA campus is very empowering. It's very engaging because the campus is made a certain way that um, it's small enough, basically, that as a student you have the ability to mold the way the campus uh, rolls, basically. I have the power. The power. Uh, I have the ability with the teamwork of um, from my peers to schedule events on campus, to have certain speakers come. We have a very large voice in this campus uh, that you know you take advantage of to you know better the school in a way that would help fit your uh, career as a college uh, student, uh, your role as a student leader, or even helping you out into the real world where you're going to get a job and pay rent and pay bills, all those beautiful things that they tell you about when you graduate. Like crowns are pretty cool. I'm not a princess, but up here sometimes I am. I just li I like the contrast. I like contrasting things. It, I think it's uh, good to have a balance of two different things because it, it gives you more of an open mind of what's in front of you and how you can tackle something and make something better. And I was vice president in public relations chair last year, uh, which was me marketing sack to people, and I like to push the envelope. So I would have, you know, get in the sack, be good in the sack, be consistent in the sack things like that. And people thought it was funny and they came out and we got to explain, you know, what SAC does for you as a student. It's gotten me interviews uh, because of, you know, a leadership position within it. I actually won an award for um, my ad campaign for Free Week last year. Uh, SAC and MCLA students go to this uh, uh, conference called National Association of Campus Activities, which is called NACA. And clubs from all kinds of schools will come and learn how to better uh, program their clubs, better advertise their clubs, better uh, use their skills as uh, leaders within their own community, and I won an award for my uh, advertising campaign for Freak Week 2010. Very proud moment in my family's home. All the relatives were told. 
And uh, now I'm president and I really like to engage not only the executive board but the general members and using other programs and other clubs on campus to really push uh, campus activities. Oh, and Vic's not doing work for me either. Um, Vic's hurt. Oh, Vic's hurt. Hurt. I know, I thought he was going to be playing today, right? Vic's hurt. He was, but he, he got was, yeah. yeah. hurt in yeah. the middle of the... Yeah. This is the worst day. <laughs> I, I love sports. I, uh, I played on, th I think, three or four teams for soccer in high school. I was MVP two years in a row in high school. I played every single position. Humor is attractive. I think MCLA can be humor, not like this institution's not humorous, but I think there's uh, a personality of humor that's encouraged on this campus. Nora, tell me a joke. Uh, okay. Um, why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? Why? Who drizzle? <laughs> How MCLA uh, just highlights the idea that academia and a degree is more than sitting in a classroom and spilling out facts and dates and you know, chemical compounds. It's really about the experience that you get outside the classroom.